right, here's the video review for the Refractor Reconnaissance Team 3-pack that's being distributed through all the fan channel outlets uh, by Hasbro. It is a uh, G1 to Mail Away Toy-inspired set of the Refractor slash Reflector uh, figures. Before we get into that, though, real quick, because I've had several comments on it in my MP44 video, and I meant to do it. It's just like overwhelmed with all the stuff going on. One, the flight stand does apparently work. I've had several people tell them that, tell me that. Uh, I was going off information that it, the joint didn't support Prime, but I guess it does, so uh, I'll have to figure that out and try that. I'm gonna have to dig out the, uh, dig out the trailer. But yeah, but I didn't show off the Matrix. So it's ch like, I, I already started this a little bit because getting your fingernails under here to get this going in robot mode is very difficult. But you can open up his chest and lift up this panel, and he does have the Matrix inside there. And again, getting it out, they've never made one of these where it's easy to pop the Matrix out. Um, let me just get my spudger here and pop this baby out. And it's not super different from any of the other versions of the Matrix we've seen. Although I think I just, did I just pop out something else? Here. Yeah. Oh no, the Matrix Chamber actually itself lifts out. Huh, interesting. So the Matrix Chamber itself extends out a little bit. There, pushes back and comes out. I don't know how well you're seeing that there. But anyway, the Matrix itself, it stores in his chest. Apparently, it only goes in with the with these points facing up, which is as it should be. But it's got the same thing. This this is just a little insert piece. It's smaller on one side, larger on the other. You can see it fills more of the the center on this side, whereas here it's a little bit more condensed. And that's because this piece apparently just yeah. See, this is a separate piece. Just pushing on it with my thumb, you can come on. It comes right out. Although it's <laughs> the way it's shaped. See, this is flat. It won't hurt anything. There we go. So the centerpiece, you can see one side is smaller than the other. It's how it stays in. There's a little ridge there about halfway through it. But yeah, anyway. Um, so one side's bigger than the other. But you just take it. It's die cast. I mean, this part's plastic. The rest of it seems, the casing seems to be die cast. But you can just put that in his chest. Push it all the way in, close the panel, and then close his chest up over it. And there he has the matrix. We'll do the flight stand uh, when I figure that out. But anyway, just a quick interlude to show off the matrix since I got several comments about, forgot to show it off. I had intended to show it off. I was thinking about it when I started the video, but you know, 35 minutes in, things uh, tend to escape me. But so here is the reconnaissance team three pack uh, refractor. Let's get him a little better centered here now that we're done with Prime. And uh, here he is with the the tune version. I may get rid of this one. I don't know. Because uh, it's nice. It's neat that they did both of these, but I really like the old toy colors better. It has more nostalgia for me. So we'll see. Now one of the things that I saw somebody do that I've been doing with the tune colors version is taking the feet on the middle one and flip it up. It kind of gives them a little bit more of that Camry silhouette, but this one just seems, without these extra pieces, does seem a little just squarish and blocky, whereas this one seems at least a little bit more like a camera. And the extra disc up here to, uh, they use this as a shutter button on this one, and then uh, on this one, since he has a shutter button and dials up here, I put it back here like it's a digital camera where you're like, oh, let's, let's scroll through the photos, bloop, 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 but whatever. Now, one of the things that's really neat about him is he comes in a package that, one, is much smaller than you, were, you would expect for three deluxes because he comes packaged in camera mode. But it's made to look similar to if you bought a fancy camera. I mean, like, obviously not like a fancy camera. There's Transformers all over it and, and things like that. But, but just, in, just neat packaging here. And uh, the instruction manual... Unlike the ones that came with the single pack version, does show off how to make the camera mode and, and take everything apart um, and put all the stuff on and shows which accessories go to which robot. You can make the spaceship mode. I'm not even gonna do it with these because I don't really care for the spaceship mode, but they're just as capable of doing it as the previous ones. But when you open it up, it's got the packing list. These apparently, 
One of these is the Bioscale compression rotor. That's the one that goes on Spyglass. Was it Spyglass or? I can't remember. Um, and then these two are listed, the other two discs are listed as memory cards, which seems silly to me, but hey, whatever. Um, and then they, they had to put all the accessories onto the camera, Crimsy, which we'll talk about in a minute. But then it's got, it, it looks like it's actual camera instructions. Like here's some shooting tips, but the shooting tips are like, if you want to shoot propaganda, get close and move as close, you know, use a simple background and get close. Burn in a powerful message, promoting your leader and the Decepticon cause, like how to shoot a pro propaganda poster as a camera. How to use the camera to take blackmail photos, like use the firelight on the burning planet. Stay as far away from the subjects as possible. Like apparently he's about to blackmail Starscream here. Use a telephoto lens. Like if you're going to be a PI or somebody and blackmail someone, here's how to do that. Surveillance. Like stay away from Autobots and use a telephoto lens. You know, stay in the dark. <laughs> it's just three pages of that. Uh, but uh, Viewfinder it has the bioscale compression rotor instead of a memory card. But whatever. Um... Spectro viewfinder and spyglass, and then uh, basically all their even though the guns are the same mold, that one has one is an optic blaster, one is a lens laser, and one is a shutter blaster because that's just how. Uh, in each one, Spectro over here has the shutter blast. The red one has the shutter blaster. Viewfinder has the lens laser because he's got the lens, and spyglass with the flash has the optic blaster. <laughs> the same gun. Uh, they have different stats, but they're all the same gun. They all have the same telefocal shield, and the flash launcher has its own specs. Anyway, the toy itself. Now that we've got that six minutes of, of talking out of the way, here's Refractor. And again, he's the same figure that we've played with before three different times with this one, but with some extra bits. You can see the, 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 lens, or the, the lens is black. Uh, these are black. He's got some extra pieces, but he comes apart the exact same way. Pull this off. Pull the various blasters apart. Pull the telefocal lenses or shields apart, and pull the three individual robots apart. He keeps his bio scale refractor or whatever they call this thing <laughs> um, on his chest. This piece kind of you just kind of pull it forward because it's. There's a couple tabs in here that peg into his shoulders, and that's how we're going to attach them as shoulder armor after we split them apart, but we'll, we'll show that in a minute. I think we'll do him last, so let's go ahead and leave that piece on there. So, uh, spyglass here. Go ahead and pull the... Uh, uh, the flash off. There we go. He can hold this as a gun. There's two pegs. This one that pegs it into the vehicle, or to the mode, and then he can hold it as a weapon, but anyway... Come on. I know I'm doing this right. There we go. So pull the legs down, fold these in, fold the arms up to the side, flip his head up. Come on, head flip up. There we go. Flip his head up. Rotate his waist around, then rotate his legs around at the thigh. Bring his hands all the way down and around, like that. The instructions say to uh, take one of these shields, peg it on vertically onto a shoulder, which you can do. They say put this on his other shoulder like this, which again, that's how you want to do it. That's fine. But you can also, like I said, if you want, you can have him hold it as some sort of flash bang gun or something, as well as give him his whichever blaster he ended up with. And then this, I usually just store this on the back here for these guys. And there is Spyglass transformed, blue and silver. There's some red down here. Let's go to Spectro. We'll go ahead and pop this armor piece off. It's just kind of a foldable armor piece here. Just Folds around, so just open it up, flip this up, set it off to the side for the time being. Robot mode, we transform exactly the same way. Nothing nothing changes between these guys. I'll rotate his legs around, bring his arms out, flip his hands out. Flip his head up. Put this under his back. And here, give him his weapon. Give 
And this shield, it says to take this, peg this onto his arm like this, and then just kind of fold this around. It does limit his arm articulation, because the uh, this joint doesn't move at all, or the, the, the arms move outward under this black piece. So if you have this attached, this arm kind of has to stay straight, which is a little limiting, but it's a way of using that as a shield. She can you know, fold it flat and leave it up. You could just leave it like that, but still, uh, the way it attaches, like folding this does not really help the arm articulation because it's still blocked by this piece. But there's that, and he still, ha he still has a shield. I guess you could attach it up here on his shoulder if you wanted to. But there's Spectro. And Viewfinder. So like I said, push this forward to pop it off, and that actually popped apart. It's just two separate pieces popped apart. And then take these little pieces that attached it to the view, the camera, to the the alt mode, and then flip them out. You just, they just rotate around on this hinge here. Just push them around and out. Transform him exactly the same way, except we're gonna leave this on the front of him. Also, they all have the same head, which is a little disappointing. It would have been neat to see the see if they got in head remolds for the toy-related heads. But I feel like you're getting more extra bits with the stuff that does come with them. So, trade-off. You put that up there. And then again, you give him a shield on his arm. And then give him his weapon. And there are the three of them all together. Same articulation as before. They've got like an up and down at the head and a side to side. Um, if the arms aren't blocked, they've got front to back swivel, side to side swivel, bicep swivel, dual hinge elbows. Um, stay on there. Waist swivel, ball joint hip or side to side. Two direction hips, thigh swivel, hinge knees, and they do have ankle tilt. They also come with a little Kremzik, which I'm not entirely sure. It's just a soft rubber, solid piece Kremzik. I'm not sure what made them decide to throw it in there, but I like it, especially because, let me get this out of the way, like with Refractor, okay, nice little addition, but he does go very well, especially if you've been reading the comics, with these guys, because in the comics, Kremzik is a plot point. Oh, the Prime is actually off camera because shooting a shorter guy, but yeah. Let's see if we can get them all, all in frame here. But yeah, if you have the Optimus Prime, Ecto, and Ectotron, it's really just kind of a bonus accessory set for these guys as far as I'm concerned, but it is neat that you got a little Kremzik. I would like more options to get more Kremzik so I can have a whole army of Kremziks because I'm not spending... $70 on multiple three packs of refractor to get multiple creme Zeeks, but I would like to have more creme Zeeks. You can never have too many creme Zeeks. Well, you probably could. I'm sure the Autobots and Decepticons disagree with me, but you know what? That's their problem. But yeah, a nice little set of nostalgia laden toy color replays. Because I remember, like, I didn't have Reflector as a kid, but my friend did. And I remember playing with him, and I thought he was so cool. I did get all the Omnibots as mail aways when I was a kid, but I did not get Reflector. But I got to play with him, and I, I have fond memories of him when I was young. And so it's, it's nice to see it. I, I do think uh, Spyglass could stand to be maybe a little slightly differently colored. Like maybe if he had the black legs or just darker legs to match the other side. Because uh, on the old toy, like the black was, you know, it, it ended up in a different place, so it wasn't showing. But uh, in robot mode, but. I'm, I'm really happy with this. This is a neat little set. Uh, real quick before we wrap everything up, uh, here they are with one. I'm not, not going to do all three of the tune colored ones because they're essentially all the same, but there's a difference of a tune colored one with the three. And if you want to uh, put the little tummy, tummy thing on, I may try swapping a gray one onto there to see how it looks, but yeah, just quick comparison with the standard tune colors. A very nice set um, with some neat, really neat packaging, really neat, uh, I like the Creme Zeke, the new little add-on armor bits, uh, really kind of 
bring that toy nostalgia home in the way that the the buying three of the single deluxes didn't. Um, and just overall looks better like a camera. There's a, there was a lot of thought put into the packaging and the presentation of it, which I appreciate. Um, and I'm really happy with some of the things that we're getting from Hasbro through the fan channel, like the surprise G2 Megatron repaint. Personally, I want to see that Megatron repainted into the green and purple uh, G2 Megatron, but I'll take what I can get for now. But like just the kinds of things they're offering us, like the, the Galaxy uh, Galactic Man Shockwave, which I should still have coming at some point. Um, things like that. It's really neat. This one is probably the hit of what we've seen so far coming from Hasbro Pulse and, and the fan channel uh, products. But uh, but I think they're doing a pretty decent job of, of catering to older fans, and that's nice. But there it is, the Siege Reconnaissance Team 3-Pack Refractor.